I'm gonna head to Zurich today again. It's gonna be a one-day trip. Just using the Pocket 3 and the Vico GRT, keeping everything light today. And I think I'm gonna be visiting a couple museums, maybe two at most, and then the rest is gonna be street. My breakfast place earlier was so amazing, incredible. Bread, sandwich, coffee, everything just on point. Honestly, I feel like this token is so awesome. It's for um, for the locker. I need to put my bag in because I um, can't bring a bag in there. However, I can take photos. Just no flash. I feel like I took so many photos at this locker room already. I'm not even inside the museum yet. Oh man, this is gonna be good. This tower view looks really good. Oh my god, it's incredible. This museum's cool. It's got like iPad and then all these phone integration to their installations. Well, not really installations. Mostly like antique. I feel like every single museum, okay, maybe not every one of them, most of them. It doesn't matter where you're at, like, they're just like weapons and just develop a, I don't know. I mean, I do like the artists on the weapon. The, the design's interesting, it's cool, but I just feel like every museum has weapons. That's it, you know, this knife, guns, all that kind of stuff. So I guess it's part of the process. And on that note, do you think after maybe like 100 or 200 years, people looking back at us, like I am right now, looking at these like fashion designs, clothes, or just the way people wear clothes, do you think people will feel weird looking back, like what we are wearing right now? It's gonna be interesting. So that's fashion back in the days. One day we'll be inside a museum. I mean, not physically, but all the clothes and the fashion is going to be in here. Display like this. Sun finally came out. <laughs> That's a lot. Great. Now I don't know which one to pick. Bacon. Oh, you need juice? Oh, no. Thank you. This is the first time ever I had to use this 
extra battery on the Pocket 3. You know, recording a lot lately. And I've been just getting lazy and not bringing the, the R5 1535. It's so heavy. It's just much easier to bring the Pocket 3 now. Yeah, War Press and Swiss Press Photo. It's impressive. It's really nice. It reminds me a lot of street photography, journalism, and just documenting for the sake of it. Just saving stories everywhere from the world. And wow, I think we're here. Check this out. Battery problem. Oh, finally. Wait, still not working. I have to turn, I have the camera turn on, but nothing. I think my Rico is dying. Okay, it's back on. This little guy. It's becoming more and more unreliable. This building is so fun to photograph. Oh my god. The color, light and shadow. I'm just glad I have the Rico, small Rico 28. If I have the 40 or 50, it's gonna be too tight, way too tight for this little place. Well, it's not really little, but. That place is phenomenal. Like just the architecture, design, the color, and even even the photo down there. There's a lot of architecture, photography. Like uh, I would say, like a small exhibition, and it's great because a lot of photos were actually in black and white. And that got me thinking, like just by using light and shadow, and really focus on the architecture side of things actually speaks louder whenever you have like colors in your photo. I kind of want to try that in my next project. Or maybe like a set of black and photo architecture photography project. We'll see. I'm gonna have to, to work something out and to practice more by spotting just light and shadow and using black and white photos to focus on the architecture. <laughs> See, street photography is always fun, but the best part is to take a break. Get some chocolate, get some coffee, and then go back out again and take photos.